Hello. Hope everybody is having a peaceful day. I know mine was peaceful yesterday. It was so peaceful, I was about to pull my hair out. You wondered where I was? I had no power all day long, all the way up to night. Oh, I was kind of like, you know, I'd like to have some peace and quiet one day this week. Well, boy, I got it, and I didn't like it. Because I couldn't get on here, couldn't talk to you guys, and I missed you guys. But we had no power here. What we got here is a lot of trees still falling from last week's storms. Where it loosened the soil and the winds and everything else. But yesterday there was, wasn't too far from my house, but a mountain gave way. And a lot of trees took out every line, every pole. And God bless the, the power company for getting it back on in, in the time that they did. Because I'm telling you, they had a mess. And that's continuing to happen. Because a lot of these trees have been loosened up from these the storms last week. And they continue to fall. So I don't even know if I'll have power this evening. It did the same thing last year. About this time, we had some bad storms come through. Not like we had this time. But it was... About the same thing after a week after the storms went by the trees would you know, still continue to fall a lot of stuff going on i was uh trying to catch up on the news since now that i have power and i was truly in the three days of darkness yesterday because there was no power you know i still have people in the comments telling me don't sh don't go against the three days of darkness. Let me tell you something. I have Jesus. I'm not scared of no three days of darkness. All I can tell you is to get you a nightlight. So I can tell you. If you're that scared of three days of darkness, you're not right with God. You better get yourself right because the church won't face no three days of darkness. We'll be out of here before that ever happens, if it even happens. It's not in the Bible. I've been trying to find it. We looked it up. We've looked at everything. And the only thing we come up to is it came from uh, somewhere in the Catholic Church, started preaching it, and it has stuck around, and everybody just kind of regargles it. But the only way I would see three days of darkness is if the rapture happens and God knocks the power out for three days. But is the boogeyman going to come? You need to darken your windows and all that junk? No, that's re oh, unbelievable. People are like... You should be scared. That's going to happen. No, I'm going to be home. If you're down here, good luck to you because I'll be home. I will not be facing it. And God does not preach fear. And if you're listening to somebody that's preaching you fear, they're not of God. You know, there's a lot of topics. Who's false prophets? Who's this? Who's right? Who's wrong? I will tell you this. I'm a man. I will get things wrong, but I will tell you one thing. Jesus is not fear. He's not. He's talked about it 500 times in the Bible. So if you have Jesus and you're right with the Lord, you have nothing to fear. You don't fear no three days of darkness, these storms. We know the banks are going to crash. We know World War III is on its way and half the world was going to nuke itself. But are we afraid? Absolutely not, because, baby, I am going home to be with Jesus. And I advise you, to get on the Jesus train because it's coming. It's coming. Very excited about it. Can't wait to get out of here. But you got to have yourself ready. So we can talk about false prophets all day long. We're men and women out here trying to do a job. Some of us take advantage of that. And some of us get greedy. And they start making a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there with some fantastic titles and scaring the crap out of everybody. And they get seduced. And then they figure, if I just keep scaring everybody, they'll keep coming, I'll keep making money. And that's what's happening. And I think that they meant the right thing when they first started. And I think that in a time like this, they have just start, you know, Satan stirred them away. We got to be very careful. We're in the apostasy of the church, the great falling away. The world's falling apart as we have never seen it. Since 2020, we've been on a down, downward spiral that will not stop because we're at the end. That's why I advise you to get ready to be with Jesus. 
You know, I could get on here and give you those fantastic titles and scare the crap out of you like we're sitting around a campfire. But I've got to face Jesus and I know it. These other people, I don't think they truly believe in Jesus. I believe they think they can just keep doing it and keep doing it and get away with it. But I'm here to tell you, their time is running out and they're going to have to face the music. Wouldn't want to be them. But see, I'm wise enough to know, be careful what you preach. I'm a man, and I have been wrong before about things, and a lot of times I'm right. But the one thing I do know that I will always be correct with is that your only way into heaven is through Jesus, and he is not fear. These are the worst days half of us have ever seen. But we're not scared. We're ready to go home. That's where we belong. Mm, that would probably be the famous Bonnie Reed. Uh, I talked to Bonnie McCoy last, I uh, see, right before all this stuff happened. We discussed a lot of stuff about uh, what I had talked about last week. And we come up with some different things. I'm not going to do that here because... A lot of people got very upset with me in my email, and I had a very, a lot of very disturbing emails. I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to just take my email off there and not accept emails anymore. I said, you know what? I'm not going to do that. You know, I tell everybody to read your Bible, to study, to not just go and go the extra mile. Learn your Smita cycles and everything else, but people don't do that. Then they take it out on me because they don't understand it, and I'm not doing that, you know. I'm not going to let Satan beat the crap out of me because I'm getting ready to go home and I really don't care. Like I said, if you don't want to learn it yourself and know all these other things and get the right information and keep following people that's going to lead you down a creek that you can't find your way out of, that's you. But I chose to learn it all. The cycles and everything. And I'm better for it. And I know what's coming. That's why I know we're getting out of here. So you got to have yourself ready. Do I think we have much more time? Lord, I think we're down to the last hours, to be honest with you. I'd be surprised if we're here next week. Really, I don't think we will. I think we're leaving here very, very soon. So, uh, you know, a lot of people's like, well, we're looking at this day. We're looking at that day. I'm looking for any hour. I'm not looking for a particular day. I see the signs. I know what Smita cycle we're in. It's the 11th since the Jews become a nation with Israel. And I know what that means. It means judgment. It means I'm getting out of here. I advise you to be ready to get out of here too. You can believe it or not, really don't care. As Noah said, he warned them and warned them and warned them, and they wouldn't listen. That's what I've done for five months is warn you and warn you. I can't hold your hand. And I have a lot of people say, I'm so discouraged because everybody I talk to, they won't listen. And they're not going to listen. You're responsible for yourself. You better worry about yourself. These other people, they don't want Jesus. They don't want to hear about Jesus. He's already told you. It's in the Bible. The last days, they'll smock, laugh. They won't have no part of him. But let me tell you something. When we leave here, my goodness, boy, they'll hit their knees then. Because they're going to know. And I will tell you this. The world is about to know there's a God. And his name is Jehovah. And I'm telling you, it's any day now. That sky that you're looking at right now in this picture is going to open up. And we're going home. Now, you can be on that trip or not. You can believe me or not. I don't care. I advise you to be on that trip getting out of here. Months from now, this world was going to destroy itself. All that green grass over there is going to be gone. It's not very far after we leave. The nuclear war will happen. It will happen this year. Now, either you can be here in it or you can leave. That's why Jesus is warning everybody to be ready to get out of here because you don't want to be here. I'm telling you. But like I said, I'm doing the same thing that Noah did. I'm telling you the storm's coming. The rest is up to you. But people want it. There'll be a billions of people. 
well, you know, I can't leave my sports or my entertainment or my Hollywood or my daily events. I've got to have them. But let me tell you something. Once that ship sails, all that daily life, all your sports are going to be gone. All your Hollywood is going to be gone. That stuff's not going to exist very long after we leave. It will be gone forever. It's not coming back. All that stuff will be gone. No more Little League games. No more of any of it. It will be over. You can believe that or not, but you'll know, you'll see it. If you're stuck here after we're out of here, you'll see that once we're out of here, that stuff ends months after we're gone and it don't come back. The next thing that happens after all this is the thousand year reign and everything's run by Jesus, which will be a better place and a peaceful world. I advise you to get on the right side. There's only two sides right now. Either you choose the world and Lucifer or you choose Jesus and you go home. There's only two choices, people. There's no in between. You got to make a choice. Do you believe in Jesus, that he died for you, for your past, present, and future sins? If you truly believe that, and you're like, okay, I love Jesus, and I'm going to do better, I'm going to go forward, I'm not going to look back, are you still going to sin? Everybody sins. Nobody deserves to be in heaven. I don't care who these people think they are, how perfect they think they are, nobody would get in if it wasn't for him. Nobody. So have yourself ready. That's all I can say to you. You know, like I said, we can debate all day about who's false prophets, who ain't. Really don't care. What I'm telling you is Jesus loves you. And not to fear all these events. As they'll come out and they're going to tell you, well, this is going to happen. The banks are going to crash. I'm going to tell you, the banks are going to crash. The world is going to go to a nuclear war. This year. All of it's going to happen. Millions gone in an instant. Why? Because of greed and evil. The love of the almighty dollar has destroyed this world. And it's eaten itself alive. That's why Jesus has come back. We murder more children every day than they have. And putting all wars combined together. And people think that that's okay. It's a good thing. But I don't want to be them very, very, very soon. I don't want to be them because they're going to answer for it. And they, oh, Lord, help them. Lord, help them. Pray for all these people that they repent from what they've done. All these politicians, I don't care if they're on the left or the right. You pray for your brothers and sisters that they all turn back before it's too late. Because I'm telling you, you know, a lot of people won't tell you that. They won't get on here and tell you not to fear this stuff and pray for your enemies. But I will. Because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what Jesus would do. Do these other channels tell you to do what Jesus would do? No, they don't. Because they're too busy, worried about you coming back to their channel. I don't care if you come back to this channel or not. I love having you here, and I'm glad you're here. But this is not why I'm doing this. I'm not doing this to keep you coming back, people. I'm doing this to get you into heaven, to lead you to the right path. And the only path is Jesus. He's the door. So we can debate false prophets and who's right and who's wrong all day long. But at the end of the day, if they're not telling you there's only one path to heaven, and that's Jesus, and not to fear, well, it answers itself, don't it? Because Lucifer wants you to fear. He wants you to be scared of this three days of darkness and all that stuff. That's not God. Because if they ain't telling you Jesus is coming back to get the church out of here and all that other stuff comes after we're gone, they're not of God. I'll tell you that much. Because Jesus says, do not fear. I'm coming back and I'm coming to get my church. So do I fear these events? Nope. I'm going home, people. I'm going to that great banquet in the sky, just like you are. You the listener here, you the sheep that truly hear his voice. We're going home. I have nothing to fear. 
Thank you for all the work you've done, all the emails, everything, all the work. A lot of you, I did get to, I did read a lot of your all's emails yesterday when there was no power because they were still loaded into the thing. So I could still open them up and read them. I just couldn't reply. So I thank you all for all the signs and the dreams and visions you've had this week. There was a lot of them. I want you all to also remember there's a lot of storms going to start back up tonight. A lot of dangerous storms, which we know what time we live in. And literally, keep those brothers and sisters in your prayers tonight in this, almost the same locations that was last time. It's going to be a scary time, and a lot of people are going to probably lose their homes again. Just horrible. But like I said, we can lose this home down here. <laughs> but we got a better home in heaven. If you lose it all down here, be sure to understand you're going to gain a lot more in heaven because that's where we're going, people. Very soon. If I was you, if I had any kind of advice, like I said, you don't know me. I don't know you. You're my brothers and sisters. But I advise you every day from here on to go outside and keep an eye on that sky and listen for that trumpet. If you're going to take any advice from me, or listen to anything I've ever taught you or told you. Be listening for that trumpet. It's any time. Have yourself ready. Jesus loves you. And he's the only way. And if anybody else is teaching you anything differently, go away from them and don't go back. If they're teaching you fear, don't go back. Because you shouldn't fear anything. Because you have Jesus. Yeshua is not fear. And I promise you, as I'm sitting here today, we're going home soon. So I will prophesy that to you. Jesus is coming, and we're going home soon. If you don't see you here from me again, I'll see you in heaven.